Ka tangi te titi, ka tangi te kaka, ka tangi hoki ahu. He mihi ki te kaupapa o te tau, he mihi ki ngā tikanga o kaitiakitanga. Tihei, mauri ora. The plant kingdom is at the centre of life on earth, and you don't need to look very far to understand just how vital plant life is to our own existence and well-being. We know this, but it is easy to take it for granted that forests, ecosystems and farming practices that have existed through the ages will continue as they always have. The reality is that exotic pests and diseases threaten these systems. Some could have destructive outcomes in very short order. In a nutshell, biosecurity is simply this, to be aware of any potential threats and to guard against them. Inside that nutshell, there is a world of complexity. New Zealand has a strong biosecurity system. We consider ourselves a team of five million people watching out for these pests and diseases. At its heart is our National Plant Protection Organisation, the Ministry for Primary Industries and its Plant Health and Environment Laboratory. Let's use an example to take a look at the strategies, tools and technologies we work with to protect New Zealand from biosecurity threats. One of the world's most destructive pests, the brown marmorated stink bug, or BMSB for short. Stink bugs are very effective at hiding themselves in small spaces in luggage or cargo. Detector dogs are equally effective at finding them, but they need training using the actual bugs. And these bugs need to be maintained with absolutely no risk of an escape. We maintain them in our high level quarantine facility. Next in the link, the Ministry runs a surveillance program where traps are set up at 50 high risk sites around the country. When a suspect is found, it is sent into the lab for an urgent identification. If it's female, it can be dissected to see if it has ever mated or laid eggs. If it had, that would indicate to the team that more intensive action needs to be taken. High throughput sequencing is an advanced molecular diagnostic tool. We're investigating using genetic markers that will allow us to trace where in the world a stink bug may have come from. Firstly, the genetic material is extracted from the bug, then it goes through a process that reveals its genomic sequence. This is what the scientists use to unravel the hidden genetic information from the BMSB. This would give valuable insight to the policy makers who manage our borders. It takes all these tools to stop pests like the brown marmorated stink bug before they can take a hold in New Zealand. The complexity of this work, the technology, the systems and the expertise, all of this is focused on one simple objective, to protect plants and protect life.